God. There's a rush I get from creating a piece that, you know, I'm sure everyone's felt this. When you're doing something and you lose track of time, you get this euphoria. Like it's a natural dopamine you get from doing what you love. You know, and you chase that feeling forever. And I think a lot of people in the arts can relate to that or just in any craft in general. That feeling of when it's complete, you just stare at it. Like, I love that. I'll never forget those moments where I completed a piece of work. I would sit them up and I would stare at them for hours because I couldn't believe I did it, you know? And that was rewarding enough for me, the fact that I accomplished something that I didn't know I could accomplish. I always thought that was tight. Like as far as I usually go back is my cousin Malcolm. He was really good at uh, drawing cars freehand. And as a child, I always thought that was really cool. And I would try and draw cars here and there, but I was more into like monsters and creating my own little creatures. I think the oldest drawing I have goes back to fifth, fourth grade-ish. Or my, my mom probably has some older. You really saw like I was really cognitively trying to draw stuff then. But yeah, those, those drawings still mean a lot to me and I still have them in my room. When you're forced to daily think about the other people in front of you, you start to realize like, you know, everything you're going through, big or small, is a, a little less to worry about, you know? Um, like, my family has a tendency to blow things really out of proportion sometimes, but as I get older now, for me, it's more like, oh, okay, you know, it'll get handled, we'll take care of it. I've really tried to just stay center and keep that peace, you know, and I think comics has taught me that. Just observing through the arts has taught me that because you have to sit, be still, and watch, you know, and through that uh, viewing, you just learn about your fellow man and the people you walk past every day. Sometimes you can help them, sometimes you can't, but to know that you can at least make an effort to do something is really cool. I carry a sketchbook everywhere, everywhere I go. And just overhearing conversations, talking to people, those are the kind of things that really stimulate me. You know, art is really good, but uh, when I can sit down and have that, like, you know, those rare conversations you get with people, where you're like, man, I can't believe, like, they told me all that stuff. That type of stuff right there, that's that juice, you know? Like, I love that stuff. So I put myself in a lot of situations where I'm, like, really uncomfortable, but I think that's uh, good because it forces me out of my element. Like, I don't want to be around a lot of people that think the same as me or approach everything the same as me. Uh, like, all my friends, I mean, they're just all vastly different, you know? Um, and they're all from different walks of life, and I like that because it helps me, you know, if I run into a person that's similar to that, I know how to break the ice, I know how to talk to you a little bit better. <laughs>